what's up you guys it's chevy boy back on the channel and i am here with curses rock 427 he is busy playing need for speed payback in the background um we're doing this through skype so uh we actually had tried this um once before and it failed miserably but basically um he he had built a corvette z06 now this is like a pseudo zr1 with an ls7 stuffed in it because why the heck not but basically um he had built this car and he's like you know it's it's come it's basically like level what like level 12 parts at that point and you're like oh this thing's a pile of crap because you know it it, the steering was really slow and it was really sluggish it, it didn't understeer it was just really slow and it was really grippy and he's like oh it's a pile so he sells it and then i'm like you know you should really do head to head between um the uh the db11 in this game and the zr or the z06 zr1 and he's like are you sure and i'm like i am dead sure he goes if i find out that this car is a pile of crap again even fully upgraded and I waste my money, I am going to ream you out for it. I was like, okay, fine, go ahead. He freaking, he is like, I mean, look at this, 190, 200 mile an hour easy. And uh, once we get to a parts shop, he can show you exactly what he's done to this car. Because he's got a couple of God tier parts on this. This thing is insane. It's gorgeous. That's mostly, it's mo- it's all double stack. There's a couple triple stack in here as well. I'm, I'm just going to fast travel. No yeah, sense. well, I mean, you might as well, but like, no, it's it's just hilarious, you guys. It's it's freaking awesome. Yeah, this is this reminds me a lot of how the most wanted one version did. This the six the last gear is a little longer, but yeah, she, she's she's yeah. pretty. Sorry for the really bad resolution, but I'm pretty sure you can like make out what's going on. I think um, YouTube, you know, if if they crank it up to like 480 or something, it'll like mitigate the buzz, you know but who knows this thing's no joke i would this... try to edit i would try to edit this in post so that like it crops it or whatever but i don't know if it will so you can see more of his screen but yeah so he's got um the gearbox and the exhaust especially were really like one in a million shots it was crazy it was insane Yes, this, I apologize this, for talking over you. No, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. No, this, this, this is a, this is a, a thoroughbred. This is, it reminds me a lot of the Z28, just a lot better. Not as good as going against the grain in a drift, but quicker, better turn in. It's just, it's just a very, very dangerous car. This, as I say, this is a car that is most unpleasant to be driving against. It's not. This is something that re- that makes a mockery of, of of its adversaries. It doesn't just beat them; it dominates them. Why are you doing a U-turn game? I did not tell you to do that. <laughs> that Whatever, well, nitrous. It, it's t- hilarious because, you know, um, in the game, it's like he ends up. Oof! Wow, that was rough. Um, you know, he ended up buying this, or he had the Z, or I'm sorry, the GNX as his starter car because. Why would you buy the S2K and the Volkswagen Rabbit? Just why? No, you know what <laughs> I mean. And so he buys the, or he gets this, the GNX, and that thing is a freaking monster. It's like, it is literally like Satan on wheels. It's insane. And so, oops, sorry, I did not mean to rotate that. My bad. Um, but no, no. There we go. buying the or getting the GNX. And that thing is a god tier car already. And then he goes, um, like he buys or he gets the he uses the S five fifty, you know, in the um, in the very first blockbuster mission. He's like, this thing handles like crap. And I'm like, what is a runner car? And he's like, that's still no excuse. <laughs> and I'm like, well maybe. And I'm like, well maybe try the Z twenty eight. He's like, do I get to drive the Z twenty eight? I'm like. No, you don't, unfortunately, because I've already seen, you know, playthroughs of the game and everything up until the end. And please don't spoil it, because I am waiting for the very, like, for the Outlaws Rush or whatever to watch it on my own, basically, um, and to experience it for myself. So please don't spoil it. But um, anyways, yeah, no, he's like, is it going to be as bad as this pile of garbage? I'm like, 
no, it shouldn't be because the Z28 in real life is, you know, God tier performance. And he's like, okay, I'll trust you. And then he buys the Z28. And he's like, this thing is freaking amazing. And then, you know, um, for his channel, he um, he's probably going to put the video up. I don't know when he's going to put it up. Um, we are actually recording this in the same night, though. But um, basically, he did like a triple head-to-head between the S550, the SRT8 Challenger in the game, and the Z28 Camaro. And surprise to no one, the S550 was garbage. It was good on the track. It was faster than the Challenger, and, and it was quicker on some turns than the Camaro. But, yeah, it, it prolapsed badly on the street driving section, the point where I had to give it a third-place finish. It was that bad. Well, no, like, it was so bad that you literally sold it because we sat there for, like, two minutes trying to get – because he was in a bait crate mission, you know, thing. Basic. He was in a bait crate, and he was on a mountain road. And it literally rolled over on its side and got stuck and would not roll back over. It wouldn't respawn. The game didn't respawn him, and it just sat there, and he was like, oh, crap. And he was, like, trying his hardest to get the game to roll the car back over, and it just wouldn't do it. And so he's like, you know what? Screw this, and he, like, quits it, and then he's like, this thing, no. It is, like, canning it instantly. I'm just like, that was a little bit harsh. He's like, yeah, well, it, (laughs) the way I put it was, is, like, the Camaro is is god tier. You know, you tell it what to do and it'll do it. The Challenger is pretty. I mean, it's not horrible. It's at best, I would say, middle of the road. I mean, like mediocre kind of thing because it's it doesn't have great acceleration. The top speed isn't as good as you would think. Oh boy, the Corvette just died. And the game didn't respawn him, so he's great. Uh, um, I'll no, take You'll take it, yeah. Cars are ridiculous. You, you might want to go to uh, the local, you know, the local, um, uh, what do you call it, freaking, like, convenience, you know, the mini mart or whatever, and buy lottery tickets. Yeah, I, well, after getting away with that, I mean, there were a couple cops there. They, they probably should have had me there. I don't know how I got away oh. with that. Yeah, oh, well. no, they, they should have had you. Um, but yeah, no, and like, it's just kind of it's hilarious, though. Um, you know, because he's like, uh, or no, I, I was explaining about the the Challenger. Basically, you know, the Challenger, it it, it it was mediocre at best because it was slugging. Large <laughs> <laughs> <It's hard> kill. <laughs> Dude, that thing just got freaking dominated, like annihilated and ripped. It, it got its throat ripped out. I mean, it was playing chicken with you, and you beat it. One in front of me, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm not going to let you turn around and pursue me. I'm just going to kill you if I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> C- C6 versus C7. C6 wins. Hands down, done. Reality. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mortal Kombat Fatality. Oh my. Um but no, so the the Challenger the handling is very sluggish and slow. You know, the acceleration wasn't great, the top speed wasn't great. I mean you tell it what to do and it'll do it, but I don't know, how did we say that it would take its time doing it basically? The Challenger is a car. He, he's like that student in a class who always gets like an eighty-two percent on every test and every assignment. So I mean, it's not amazing, but it's very consistent. And, and I, I, if someone were to do a bunch of hot laps with it versus the S five fifty Mustang, you wouldn't see a lot of variability in the Challenger's lap times. It, it would be a fair bit slower than the Mustang, at least a second and a half or two seconds, though. But it would be very consistent. Whereas the Mustang will never be consistent. I don't care what parts they have. Right. right. Well, no, because. You know, like like we had, or like I had kind of joked about, like you know, one one test the Mustang will get a ninety five, the next test the Mustang will get like a you know a fifty eight or something, and then like the third test it'll get like a seventy or you know like a sixty eight or whatever, and then the fourth test it'll get like an eighty one, and then eventually it's just gonna get a C. It's just a solid seventy everywhere, you know. 
the sort of thing. It's just not worth the, the expense and credits. I mean, for a little bit more, you can get something like a Z06 that's better across the board with the comparable parts. There's no reason to drive the S550 in this game. None. Uh, and by extension, that also applies to the Fox Body Mustang. Oh, yeah. that that That's its own can of crap. That car was terrible as well, although in different ways. No, yeah. We, we had tried um, to, uh, to do a comparo between it and I believe was the, the GNX. Or no, it was the Firebird. We, we oops we tried to do a comparo between it and the the ta and unfortunately um the app that i was using would not record the audio because for some stupid reason it's like oh yeah your mic is already in use so screw off so it, it wouldn't record the audio um but anyway uh no we we, we should probably um and I actually had an idea for doing um, the Bel Air as a runner car that he has versus his 68 Charger in a head-to-head probably um, sometime later. I don't know when this video is going to go up. It's probably going to go up around like Christmas or something. But, you know, um, in any case, uh, for a second, I thought you were going to go drive the, the TA for a second. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I don't. Have, I don't have part. To- I don't have enough uh, of the tokens to get everything double or triple stack. That car needs a lot of help. But for what it is, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little bit skittish because it's rear end skimmies around a lot. But well, I mean, it doesn't hunt for gears like the the DB11. But that's hardly. Oh. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> we were literally making cracks about it at like what. Four this morning because it's seven twenty one now. We're making cracks about it. He's like, this thing or no? It was yesterday, um, yesterday morning. We're making cracks about it. He's like, eighth gear, no worky, sluggish like snail. And we're I'm just, we're just sitting there making jokes. It was hilarious. It was so funny. Air. Watch it be a piece of crap. Yup, knew it. Wait, that's. Uh. Just- Identical part. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Piece I don't know. of junk. The same version of what you already have. The RNG is crap in this. At times, anyway. <laughs> That's a laugh. Oh my! Wait, you're using the Challenger, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the. Pink Chidori Turbo triple stacked, or at least double stacked, but I, I have a feeling it's going to need more tokens than I'm willing to give it. <laughs> it is going to hemorrhage tokens like blood. It's, it, no, yeah, almost, uh, bad. almost. It would have been bad anyways with the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. See, I thought you were going to uh, also, you know pull out the DB11 to do the Comparo, but I mean oh, for crying out loud that part is the worst thing you can ever have in the game is like brakes and jump yeah, I'm not gonna get it, shoot and that's triple I mean, stack ooh, eh. yeah, nope crush it, burn it, kill it with fire oh well don't let it reproduce. It's right there. Good job. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, I mean, the, the original plan, you know, would have been like showing off what uh, the Z06 ZR1 hybrid car is capable of versus the DB11. But in circuit as well as street driving. But I'm not sure... Nah, it's pretty close. It's actually better than the ZR1. In some ways, not not in handling though. This this thing is a little. This car this car will drift too much. It's it's a little too, I guess, tail happy, and so that that's why it actually loses speed, a lot of speed in low in the tighter quarters. And in open sweepers, it's very good though. Yeah, it's weird. The the DB11 feels just like an English version of the Corvette, so to speak, because. Um, it's, it's got the handling, but it loves the sweepers. Whereas the Corvette 
ironically has supposedly less finesse, you know, stock for stock, I guess you could say. And the Corvette takes tight corners like a dream. I'm surprised at how terrible this thing's nitrous rating is, even though I have, I mean, I, I have three double stacked parts, but I mean. You have, you have three triple stacked. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Well, but then again, one of them is jump. So, I mean. Uh, no, it's, this yeah, well, it, I mean, jump, jump doesn't work unless you're an off-road or you're taking jumps. Yeah, more often than not. Which you would not be able to do either with that car based on the simple fact that I'm pretty sure the DB11 does not become available in that class. So, no, it's not going to work. But, no, see, um, this time I was just like, like, no, I I have to record something because I, I... uh, I, I was joking around with him through text message. Uh, I'm like, you know, I, I'm not trying to mooch off of you, I swear. And he's just like, uh-huh, sure. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, this nitrous rating is... Well, I, I imagine with all triple stack, every car's nitrous rating go, approaches 10. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not as impressed with this as performance as I am the ZR1. I mean, it's not bad. but No, not not by any means. But the nitrous is... Overdriven. Severe. It's a little janky at times. It's not bad. It's just it's got its own style, I guess. English quality. Well, I handled that really good, though. That's kind of a tricky turn. Oh, I thought that was a. I thought that was a. You know, not coming back from that. I don't know. No, this 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 car is very good. I I don't usually have problems with it. It just it's easy to overdrift. You have the angle go too tight, and then you lose a lot of speed. Right, yeah. Hard to drift quickly. It's not right. any means. It's just the learning curve is really steep. And You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go back to the full screen because I, like, zoomed it out because I'm like, well, you know, you're, like, you can see part of the map, but not the whole thing. And I'm like, wait a minute. I zoomed it out, and then I zoomed it back, and I'm like, forget it. I'm just going to keep it zoomed in because, I mean, yeah. Yeah, see, this car's good. This car can go against the grain pretty good too. But see how much speed it loses in that turn. Zero one would have done that at eighty. Granted, some of that was this is my technique, but you can't put it. You can't pin that all on the driver. No. I mean, you could try. No, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to act like I'm the best driver here. I mean, I'm probably very average. Try. I try. Just try not to crash, and then. I mean, you'd be better than some of the big name YouTubers, <clears throat> of which I won't mention. No, you can. I mean, what are they? What are they gonna do? I mean, they're not. Yeah, well, I mean, Slap Train's a joke. <laughs> He's a joke. He's a freaking joke. But again, like, I I can't remember. How did you react when you saw that his G thirty five was in the game, but it wasn't playable? It was just a traffic car. Probably said he probably said it was it was it was a good deed for humanity. <laughs> Something like that. I, I literally um, I recall telling a, uh, another friend that I'm pretty close with in the social circle. Um, you know, I recall telling this person I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I'd crash into every single G35 that I saw once I got the game, which still is going to happen. I, I promise. Every single G35 I see before and after races, because I won't crash during races, because that's just asking to get your freaking base beat in with a sledgehammer. But I'm trying to remember the route for this time trial. It's not I don't know. In the bank. Yeah, no, you know what? This is the way I need to go. Okay. I mean, it's worth a shot. Oh, because I know there's a jump you have to take at some point here. Oh, really? Yeah, what, whatever. I, I don't... It, it's weird that, you, that, you, that some time trials, you're restricted to what car you can drive, and then others you aren't. So it's very difficult to practice some of these tracks, unless you just happen to remember Wait, you mean like if it's a race time trial? Well, like this. You're stuck driving the R8. You can't just drive. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's part of the speed cross DLC. 
Yeah, sure. No, it is. It is. Because, or no, 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 not the speed cross thing. That's the titanium trials. You get um, one time trial in a, in a Mustang that's, I think it's off-road, an S550, which is garbage. Um, you get another, and I think it's like an Evoke or something. You know, it's a newer Land Rover, I think it is. And you get the R8. So those are DLC that you got because you paid for the premium edition or whatever, or the deluxe edition. Paid 20 bucks for this game. Well, 20 in sales tax. It's probably 2160 or so. So, I mean, considering. Yeah, well, I mean, you also got it, you know, and it's a year old and change. Yeah. But. How it's easy to overdrift and, and the, just too many gears in the transmission. I, I can see why this car would not be as good at hot lapping. Oh yeah, no, no question about that. I, mean, it's, I it's, wouldn't hot. I would not hop hot lap that car if my life depended on it. I don't think. I mean, it's not a bad car. It's just, I mean, with a manual transmission, you you, you can probably get a, you can probably get get rid of that problem without having too many gears. So especially on this track that we're gonna do. Yeah, here. but but see, with the manual transmission, unless you're drag racing and you're solely focused on the shifting, you are going to be constantly checking down at the speedo instead of, you know, ch checking the road. Well, no, not, not if you're, no, if you're a good driver, you could probably shift it by ear. That's what I would do. Not really. Unless it's banging off a rev limiter, you really can't tell. I don't know. I mean, the faster drivers I've seen are usually drive manual because you can engine brake that way too. So I just well, no, I get that. Oh, but right. like, but like with Pro Street, you could tell because the engine note would rise and fall with the revs. In this game, I don't think it really does that, as far as that, I recall. It would have been in fifth or fourth. Now I'm back in seventh, where I should be. Right. This this track can be because this just shows you their transmission selects gears based on speed as well as RPM. So like right here, I'm in I was in seventh. I shouldn't be any higher than fifth. Now I'm back in fifth. Now I'm back in sixth. It's just. This is what happens. You, this car shouldn't have more than six gears, because otherwise your odds of it hunting like that go way up, especially when you're on and off the throttle, such as, oh, you know, in a race like this. Right. Well, then the problem, though, is like with, you know, with what you said, you're like, yeah, but you need the transmission with all the perks. So keeping the stock six speed is not going to do you any good either. May have started, this may have come with a seven speed. I actually don't remember. I upgraded. I upgraded. The, oh my god! I upgraded this thing immediately. There was no way to get around that truck. No. Yes. No. What did the the Trans Am the TA came with a three speed? What does it have now? Like a five speed or something? Trans Am gained two gears, which was shocking. I, I, it may maybe it actually gained three. I know it gained at least two. So they just ripped out the the stock, you know, Pontiac. Turbo 350 trans or turbo 400 and dropped in a freaking um, T56. Yeah, well, it, it'd be a, it'd be a TKO, and then I think the T56 is the uh, the Magnum. I believe that's their six speed. Right. TKO. That's automatic, right? No, TKO is the five speed. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm not well versed on my five speeds. Well, I mean, I'm not either. I, I just know that it, there's it, it goes into a lot of certain mid-sized performance cars because it's much better than whatever crap they came with. See, T Borg Warner T5 and the Fox and Mustangs and third gen Camaros and Firebirds and what have you. Oh, I'm in the wrong yeah. lane. Oh boy, yeah, you're an oncoming. Well, no, I mean, um, the car's maneuverable. It's got great yeah. range. But, yeah, but no, you know, like the like a Muncie. Uh, what is it, a Muncie 20? It's either a Muncie 20 or a 21. The Rock Crusher 4-speed, that thing is gorgeous. Those those things are really solid transmissions. There's a reason why they put them behind Corvettes, Camaros, and the big block Chevelles. Decent part right there, but I, I mean, I already have I already have a double stack. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have given you top speed bonus, but do you really need it? Yeah, no, I mean, it's most racing is, is below 210 miles an hour. So anything you gain at the top is just nice. Popping. Unless it's like the last two races, you know, I think it's one of the races in 1% Club is like 12 miles on highway roads and you're 
routinely above 200. Well, see, now that's the thing. I mean, there's – the DB11, yeah, some of it was I, I could have a better route, a little bit more practice. I could probably get it closer to two minutes and 30 seconds. But even under ideal conditions like that, that is still – five to six seconds slower at least than... well but the um the uh, oh dude that that ass though <laughs> normally i don't swear but well i mean ass really isn't a swear word because yeah but anyways <laughs> um no he, he like it's weird because i i usually don't swear like around my mom or anything but like with him i don't care well yeah i mean it's it's amazing how apathy towards that subject matter is, is a two-way street. It's kind of amazing, actually. Well, it's... I'm going to win the race. Most, mostly, uh, though, it's just because of the fact that, like... Holy cow. This they, thing is... They say, that, they say that people that are comfortable with swearing around each other are, you know, the, their friendship and such is very strong bond. So much better. Wow, this drifting is so much better. This car, it's oh. awesome to drift it, unless you're an idiot. Right, no, like, if you if you went back to stock for, like, a minute and compared it to that, you would just be like, no, put the parts back on. Oh, like, oh shit. I don't, oh, wow. I don't think you guys have any idea how bad that car was when we had it stock, or when he had it stock, excuse me, because the only, the only part of this that I have in it was convincing him that it actually wasn't a pile of garbage. Oh, I got it with the tail light. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible one. That ride. ass. Ooh, ass. <laughs> Moded. <laughs> Scratch moded, yes. Oh, my. Phelous is amazing. I love Phelous. Um, But no, like, uh, yeah, no, it, 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 it's weird. Like, he, this guy, you know, he and I, we've actually been talking for over a year but like we've well talking as in just in general but then like over the phone we've talked for almost a year yeah we when did we because i think we started in like what late february early march or something because it was like you um or i think i messaged you on deviant art i think because i th- I think I had expressed interest in your build with EBIT and everything. And then you're like, yeah, well, if you want to, you know, you can shoot me your phone number and we can talk and stuff. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I'm well, pretty sure. it have been, yeah, because that was before she got the body swap and a bunch of other stuff done. Yeah, because you, cause you were there when I was driving the donor car back from PA. That would have been June 30th, I believe. Or was that like, was like the last two days of June or something? Yeah, because it, yeah, it was an overnight drive. Right, 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 yeah. No, and, like, the first things that we're doing while we're on the phone, or not even on the phone, like, just through text message, because I think it took, what, like, a day or two for me to be like, okay, you know, we can talk on the phone kind of thing? 25. That's a hell of a lot better than the DB11. And then, and with practice, I could get that down to 220 easily. Oh, dude, yeah. But, no, like, first thing we're doing is, like, coming up with, you know, freaking acronyms for cars. Yeah, there's some pretty funny ones from that. I don't remember them well, but I just know. Oh, them. my goodness. I mean, I've got one now. It's It would be um, effed over rebuilt Dorito. <laughs> Fried ovens rebuilt Dorito. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, why not? Yeah, this is a much better car. I mean, did you love it? <laughs> oh, my no, actually, I found I can uh, I came up with one for Challenger, but like I literally had to type it out and then like read it off of my Word document in order to actually like remember it properly. And he just starts busting a gut laughing, and he's just like crying by the end of it. It was hilarious. Let's see how this uh, does. that uh, if this how quicker around this track than the DB11, I'll be very surprised because this car is not fast at all. You need nitrous to go anywhere in sixth gear. Oh, the the Challenger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a bad car. It's just kind of docile, and it just, it just, it, it isn't visceral. It's just kind of like hello. Well, it's it really... weird. It's like the Challenger is. I mean, the Challenger's like a big cat. You know, the cat's got claws, and she'll bring them out. But 
for the most part, she's literally, and you're sitting in your lap purring. The the Camaro is like a tiger. The the Camaro has zero, uh, excuse my French, but zero fucks given. I'm assuming you're referring to the Corvette, actually, because it's, the, the Z28 isn't. It, we're not. The Z, we didn't even. The Z28 wasn't even driven on this track early during this thing here. Well, no, but just in general, the the Z28 is. The Z28 has a, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't care. It just it takes it and rolls with it basically. Well, the Z20 is definitely a more handling-focused car. I mean, the Z20 drives a lot smaller than it is, too. I mean, proportionally, the Challenger is only a little bit wider than the Z28, but you never know it. This thing might as well feel like a... Oh, come on. Stop understeering. Thank you. <laughs> See? No, like, you're lying, like you got to practice with this car. So, yeah, I don't expect my lap to be that good. i got, I got to practice with this thing before I start doing anything crazy. Right, right, yeah. A little... It's not janky. It's just too soft. It just doesn't. It just like doesn't bite. It always goes wide. I mean, you can yeah, with practice, it'll be better. But maybe it's a fi- big floofy kitty cat. It's like one of those giant Persian cats. It, it's very forgiving, though. I mean, it doesn't do anything dishonest or, or like overly stupid or inconsistent. But that th- therein lies the problem. Like because of that, it'll never. Su- oh, I don't know how. Oh, that- dude, your mirror caught that. No, it's, it's funny, though, because um, he originally did not put the uh, newer gen taillights on the car. He had the original, um, like, 2008 to 20, what, 2013 stalkers with, you know, the, the integral brake light in the middle, or the reverse light. And I'm like, you know, they have the Hellcat lights in there. And he's like, really? I'm like, yeah, just go into the taillight <laughs> ops. It's like, they're not there. And then I'm like, oh, doy, you got to go for the bumper. And he's like, oh, okay. Yes, good challenger. Yeah, See, no, this thing, it's weird because it's slow and it ha- handles like a pillow, but at the same time, you point it, you pull the trigger, and it goes. Well, yeah, but like it, it loses a ton of speed and drifts if you're not careful. In that regard, it's very similar to the DB11. It just does so for different reasons. That's weird because, you know, the challenger is basically – under Italian management, not English management. <laughs> oh, I was close. I thought I was going to hit Mr. Pedophile Band there. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. You, you just had to do that, didn't you? Yeah, no, that, that driver error is why this took a lot longer. There's, yeah, 240? Just, Good I, night, Irene. What was the last one you did, like 220 or 226, something like that? I don't remember. I know. I know the DB11 was not as fast as I thought it would be. So yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna keep grinding this until I get my times down. This car is really kind of tricky to drive fast. Yeah. No, I will say it's it's funny though because that color combination, the the white with the blue stripes, is literally the same color combo that you get for the mobile version of Most Wanted 2012. Well, yeah, it's also available in the standard, more full game. It's, it's that yeah. one you unlock after jumping for 35,000 yards in SRT8. That was incredibly boring when I had to do that. I did that for like 40 minutes one night. I, I will never do that. Oh, really? Really, dude? No, eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. See, he has no filter, so. Uh, it's not that I can't come back from the race, but if you want to set a good time, you have to do four basically perfect laps. And with this car by virtue of it being slow and kind of ungainly, you don't you have even less room for error. It's not like the ZR1 or the DB11 where you can just accelerate or nitrous your way out of trouble. No, you you at you you just kind of have to live with it with this car because it's, there's nothing there. It's just it's just a pillow. So well, I mean, like like I said in I think it was in your video either before or I'm sorry, after you had quit or during it, you know, I think I had compared it to something akin to a hippo. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. It, it is a lot like one. It's very docile, but I mean, it, it's 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 lovable in its own strange way. I oh people yeah, don't... you until you get into the water with it and you get into its territory, and then it opens its mouth and wants to bite you in half like the hippos. Oh baby, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, she's bouncing. Oh, uh, that 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 that's not on the car. That's because I. That's just. Being... It's because you hit a bump. Come on, baby. 
Go, 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 go. Yeah, no, it's, it loses so much speed in that corner. I did that one a lot better, though. I, I hit it at about 110. That's better than before, I guess. But it dropped it down to, like, 80. Oh, dude, can he hit 200? Oh, yeah, he hits 200. Oh, that was close. Now, dude, this... you almost cut your speed in half. You would have been at, like, a buck 30 in the Camaro if you were doing it that way. Yeah, well, you notice how close, you notice how early I had to turn in. I basically almost hit the, the far edge of that guardrail there, or that medium. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, like, with the Camaro and the Corvette, you, like, you point and it goes. You point and shoot. They are very precise. They're, like, scalpels and um, basically like a throwing knife. This thing is akin to a sledgehammer. The S550 Mustang is akin to a wrench. It only works sometimes. Oh, I don't know. No, don't fall off the track. Dude, you hit that with your mirror again. I think this is why you never. Run, this is why you never run the narrower mirrors, because <laughs> yeah, don't ever run the GT3 mirrors. Whatever you do, keep the stock ones. Stock ones are money. There we go. I had to get down to fourth. Keep the stock ones. Seven forty-five in the morning. Good lord. Oh, my. This is almost 40 minutes long. I hope you know that. I didn't think, I didn't think it was going on. I mean, there's only only a couple races. Yeah, no, nope, nope, that last turn, that last turn, this car can... Oh, it, oh. Considering it was better, but, you know. This, this is... Much. Well, so DB11 just pulls away. Just quicker car, but... I don't know. I, this, I, I feel a lot better on this track now. Ooh, acceleration and brakes. What is that? Brakes and nitrous? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, this car needs nitrous. I, I, I'm holding out for a triple stack at that point. <laughs> You're like, game, please. Game's like, nah. Well, no, you, like, you, li like, literally, okay, he would keep getting a Chidori Turbo or the Outlaw freaking, what was it, the Outlaw head? or the No, it was the Outlaw exhaust, I think. It kept giving you those three parts. It was like Outlaw Head, Outlaw Exhaust, and Chidori Turbo. And it just kept giving you the finger. Yeah, and not even any good ones. I mean, like, just your standard single, single stack jump. Or, like, single stack jump in nitrous. I'm like, really? What am I going to do with this? Like, come on. You're like, sit on it and spin, mother trucker. And you're like, no. Oh, my. Oh, crap, my phone's a 2%. This is not good. I gotta charge this thing. I'm just glad that I actually have a good charger cord that's going to do what I tell it. Because otherwise I'm hosed. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. You run away and now they show up. Mm-hmm. It'll be fine. It's a challenger. I mean, the car's not going to do anything stupid. It's just going to be a little sluggish and sloppy at things. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> it needs need a lot of persuasion. Oh, my. Riffs, though. See how, see, how it's, see how it wants to keep going wide? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's as tight as... No, if, you guys, if you guys are wondering what the horse in the middle of the burning forest thing is, it's kind of like a meme that he and I kind of came up with. Oh my! I don't know why he did that. That was very stupid of you, Mister Corvette. I'm not even going. <laughs> Go into the woods and die. Yeah, you, you weren't going that way, so I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, oh, dude, that's hilarious, though. But yeah, no. In case you guys are wondering, it's basically a meme. It's like um, telling the story of how how basically that came about, or no? I mean, it's no, no one's going to be able to connect any of the dots. It doesn't really matter. It might as well. Point. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna like. So basically, what was happening is, um, so back in like July. Yeah, no, it was like the beginning of July. Um, was it a Craigslist ad? I think it was a Craigslist ad. It was a Craigslist ad for was it a '91 town car and something else? It was a dark green '93 town car base and then a gold '89 or '88 town car. Signature series with cloth seats. Very rare. 
the signature was Katrina, yes, or was it the 93? No, Katrina was the 93. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So he goes to this guy's house uh, because he's like, well, you know, there's a Craigslist debt for these two cars, and what were they, like 600 bucks or something for the pair of them? You wanted five hundred a piece. I could probably get the two of them for for seven to eight hundred bucks if I if I told if I could provide towing, which I I right. am. Yeah, and so like he goes there, he goes to the guy's house. Nobody's home. I'm like, this ain't a good idea. This nobody you know. You're, like he he wasn't trying to be a dick or anything. He's just like, eh. I mean, you could be wrong or whatever. You know, you just kind of shrugging me off. I'm like, this don't feel right. <laughs> and so he comes back. And, uh, <laughs> he, tries, he tries the second time. I'm like, this still don't feel right. This, 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 I mean, you know. And what did you, you left him a voicemail the second time, I think? No, no. He, he, he didn't have a phone number to call and the ad. So I, I, I didn't email. I didn't email him. Oh, that. yeah. Just like. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think you emailed him the second time or something. I'm like, this still don't feel right. You're like, yeah, what do you know? Third time, I think what? you wrote him a note or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left a note on, on the, the, the two front doors of the house. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, then uh, the last time, he he goes there. He's like, oh, the cars, the you know, they'll still be there. I'm like, this really doesn't feel right. And was it Katrina or both of them that were gone? Oh, no, the... The, the box body with the cloth seats was, was still where he parked it. The Katrina wasn't there, though. Katrina, Katrina was gone. He left a note. He's like, hey, you basically, he's like, I'm still interested, or I'm interested in these cars, you know, give me a call or whatever. Dude is sketchy as hell, okay? <laughs> this guy, too, I believe, is, is what you refer to him as. Um, but, and, uh, I, I, and, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, SG2, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's good you get too. Yeah, so um, and he's like, uh, basically, um, you know, he um, and I have discussed a lot of things, you know, possible future plans or whatever. Um, and so he goes, he's like, you know, I like, yeah, I know you did, you know, but maybe, you know, maybe um, it wasn't meant for you or whatever, and. What you were you were like in denial or whatever at that point? I think. Well, no, I, I just I, I I wanted that car and I made the mistake of bonding with something that I didn't know was first of all was even still for sale. It may very well have been spoken for and the, and the buyer just hadn't picked it up, but I just assumed it wasn't. And you can't do that. Yeah, right, exactly. But like the, but um, and then on DeviantArt, what was it like a week later? You're like, I have to give credit where credit is due. <laughs> Yeah, he goes, he's like, you know, this person told me, you know, and he's speaking about me, he's like, this person told me from day one, this is not a good idea, I, this don't feel right, but I shrugged it off, and I wouldn't listen, turns out this person was right, and so this whole thing, like, um, you know, it came out of the old saying, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, and so I was like, oh yeah, you know, you can, um, like, you you would be the horse, you know, and you're picking this apple, but it's in a burning forest. It's like the first day, you know, the outer ring of trees is on fire. You're like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> and I, I'm sitting there, I'm telling you, no, it's not fine. Get out of there. You're like, oh, whatever. You know. the, the, um, inner ring of trees so there's basically like two outer or two rings around the one tree so like the inner ring of trees is on fire you're like, oh, it's fine third day comes around the tree itself is on fire you're like oh whatever it's fine it'll be it'll be good fourth and final day the, like the flames are wrapping around the you know the tree branch with the apple and you're sitting there and you're going shit <laughs> oh, oh, well, <laughs> oh i guess i'll have to find another apple then by which point you're, you're, I mean, you're already, you're already dead anyway. Very, very. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, see, that's you. You are the horse with the apple at this point. See, the, the good thing though, is that, you know, nothing bad came out of it and you're not dead. So yeah, no, I, I probably should have gotten shot at least twice during that whole <laughs> week and a half of trying to find out and buy that car. 
Why is I didn't, honestly? I did some very silly things. <laughs> Actually, um, I mean, I'm not taking credit for it, but, you know, like, I mean, I know that you're not particularly religious or whatever, but I was like, I'm sitting there, you know, I, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, or no, I, was on, I think it was on the way. You'd be, you'd be like, calling me up after, you know, you got out of work or whatever. You'd be, oh, I'm heading over to Sketchy Guy's place. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. So like, while I'm on the phone with you, I'm sitting there praying. I'm like, okay, please don't let him die. <laughs> Funny. I'm sit- I'm literally sitting praying. Please do not let him get shot. Please don't let him do anything stupid, stupider than what what he's already putting himself through. <laughs> you know. So, but I mean, I don't know. We all we all stupid crap and we make mistakes. I mean, like. You know, you know, I've done plenty of mistakes in my life. Like these guys don't. Not even. I don't know if I'll tell them half of the mistakes I've made, but we'll see. Now well, they're 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 different. They're they're, they're they're but on the other hand, they're also unique. To, they're 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 mistakes that only, that only you could have made. They're they're so unique. They they have all all of the trademark features. Like all the bad ones. <laughs> like my like so impulsive and emotional. I mean, if you sure. don't know, I mean, <laughs> well, especially the one that landed me at my grandmother's house. Uh, oh my! But it's, if I hadn't, if I hadn't made that mistake, then I wouldn't have landed at my grandmother's house, which then means that you know I wouldn't have had to sit there and and think about what I was doing that was stupid, and I wouldn't be able to get my job. You know, months after starting this channel, and then, um, oh, which by the way, I'm still looking for a job. Um, I will be calling that factory that I went to for that, um, what did you call it? The job fair back in September. No, oh, back in, no, September 18th? Yeah, I think it was September. Um, but yeah, and no, I'll be going back there. Or not back there, but I'll be calling them up in like two weeks because I was told by a lady that they were possibly going to have um, a job start to be put together that I could possibly do. So if this actually goes through, that'd be great. But uh, back to topic at hand, though. I mean, if I had not been sent to my grandmother's house against my will, basically, because it was going to be stupid. Um... You know, I wouldn't have been able to get that job, and then I wouldn't have been able to buy my stupid trailer, and then, you know, wouldn't have the prospect of, if I get money, then I can actually get out on my own a little bit now in personal space. You know? But... I wonder, I wonder how they would react to uh, Camaro shenanigans... Which ones? What, with the Z28? Yeah. Well, I mean, because why would you pull out your drag car when you're already rocking your, you know, Challenger race car? Well, see, the Challenger wouldn't really be a good drag car because it's slow, but then it's not really a good race car because it's just because it's a pillow. So it's just this kind of thing that's in between. I mean, it's an okay race car, but I wouldn't... There's a reason why its lap times are a lot slower. Than... I mean, it might be a good drift car, just on how it takes wide turns. Oh, yeah. Have fun only taking wide turns. There's plenty of sharp ones that... I mean, yeah, with drift handling, you, you can get more oversteer, but not that much more. I mean, I'm sure... Oh, uh, you, you mean with shit lock? Uh, well, no, I mean, I, I, I gotta be... turns anyway, so feel free to cut it here. You got power director, so I'm not worried. Um... All right, guys. Well, <laughs> sorry to end this off so uh, early, but maybe um, in the next like week or two or whatever. Um, you guys did enjoy this. Let me know if you are new to the channel and you found it because of this. Um, I would, um, you know, I just ask that if you want to see, whatever, you know, I've got a bunch of other stuff on my channel. Um, subscribe if you want to see that stuff. If you want to see anything from my friend here, this is Rock427. 
uh, check out his channel. He should be uploading a bunch of videos on Payback um, and has done a lot of other games, you know, GTA 4, Six Star Getaways, stuff like that. So, but if you guys did enjoy this, let me know, and I'll catch you down the road. This is Chevy Boy signing out. Peace.